The only place you'll ever find the real Teddy B is right here on this channel, so don't fall for anybody representing themselves as Teddy B on any other platform, and don't fall for the fake Teddy Bs posting on my videos. Don't ever give your private information to anybody, especially if you think it's Teddy B, because I will never ask for it. So if they're asking for it, they're a fake. So with that said, let's get down to business. A viewer asked me to explain the difference between the Edge Cache and the Edge Compute. So that's what this video is going to be about. The Edge Cache is where your computer will relay video and data from one source to one of the peers, a peer being either a, another edge node or it could be a direct viewer, somebody that is trying to watch whatever the video is and rather than it coming say from YouTube, it would be coming from an edge node near them. So this person asked why they never see any cache jobs. Well, I'm the same way as you can see it says no jobs and that's because there are no peers currently near me that are needing a relay so I'm just sitting here and basically waiting to be tasked by the edge network to relay video or data it, it can be either one that I have and sent on to either another edge node or to an end user of that video or data. Okay, the edge compute basically makes your CPU a part of a huge supercomputer with parallel processing via a distributed network of processors. And your computer can be tasked to do any kind of computational work that is needed by the supercomputer network. Okay, so by your computer being one of these 135,297 edge computers up and running, your CPU is essentially one of 135,297 processors in this supercomputer and can be tasked as needed to do computational work. What makes it so valuable is the fact that through parallel processing, tremendous amount of computational work can be done all at the same time by simply assigning work to each of them to get the work done. Think of it like having 10 students in a math class and you are able to give each one a formula to work and they're all working their own formula at the same time. You're going to get the answer to those 10 fairly quick whereas if you gave all 10 to a single student he would have to do one then the other then the other then the other and it would take a lot more time to do so parallel processing is much much faster and the theta team through this edge compute function has created the world's biggest supercomputer capable of parallel processing to get work done this, my friend, is a untapped resource that has yet to be unleashed on the world to uh, make the Theta network extremely valuable. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation, so cue the music.
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.